How to add an access code to a Google um, Forms assignment or assessment. This is video 12, the final video in a short series of videos to help teachers incorporate and use Google Forms in their classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I'm a personal finance teacher at Sinclair High School in Sinclair, Michigan, and I'm going to show you a trick that I learned and implement quite frequently, particularly with assessments in Google Forms, which is called an access code. So I am going to pull up an assessment um this one right here which is just a checking account quiz um, that's pulled from the ngpf website it's unit 1.1 the essential checking account and in this assessment um students are multiple choice answers just kind of a quick little quiz but cheating is always a a concern with with teachers of doing things digitally and then students being able to pass that information on and share it with other students. So one thing that I do often when I'm using Google Forms as an assessment tool um, in any type of really quiz, final exam, test, and using Google Forms is I've added something called an access code. So what I do is right in this first screen, like in this first chunk, um, so right now if I were to preview this, do you see that like in this first part, they put their name and their class period, and then I have to click next to go and actually get into the answers. That's an important part of this setup, meaning they have to fill this part out before they get to see any of the questions in that assessment. So within that first little screen, I add something called an access code. So I'm gonna click right here on class period, just so I'm in, Google Forms knows kind of where I'm at. And then I'm going to click add a question and right below it, I just type access code. And then the, it's going to be a short answer, as you see right here. And then I'm going to make it required, meaning students have to put in the correct answer or um, they cannot move forward beyond that. And then how you put the access code in is there's these three little dots right here that you'll click on and you'll uh, select the response validation. And what it's going to um, pop up is um, you have lots of different options as far as choosing a number, text, length, all of that. And I always choose text. And I do um, that it you can choose contains, doesn't contain, all of that. I put contains. And then I use some sort of code that I would verbally give to students to allow them to kind of progress on to the next thing. So just to make this easy, I'm going to put Apple. So Apple is my access code. And if they don't type that, if they type something different, they're going to get a message that says incorrect access code. Okay, that's what they'll get. So a couple key things with this for it to work correctly. I'm in that first initial part of the Google Form section of the Google Form before they're able to see any questions. I've made it required. They have to answer it. I did the answer validation. It contains this word. And then there's my error if it doesn't, they don't type that answer. So what happens then when I do that is if I preview this as a student, um, I put my first and my last name in there, oops, and um, then I put my class period, and then there's that access code that's required. And let's say I put the access code of money and I try to go to the next, it won't allow me to keep going as a student until I have that access code. So what I will do in like an assessment type situation is I'll get students into the assessment. However, I usually do it through providing a link um, to them and then they will be on this screen and I'll tell them as soon as everybody's in, I'll verbally give you the access code and I'll verbally say it out loud for them to do. I try and do something that they don't really guess. It's easy to spell. It's pretty short, but it has to be exactly that. So if they're sitting here and guessing, you know, different things and trying to get to, they can't get any further without the correct access code. When they have the correct code, now they can go on to the next screen. So as soon as they have it, they can then move on. And then because I teach five hours of the same um, class, I don't want them to be able to take this link, send it to their friend, access code is Apple and move on. So I'll get my like first hour in and then I just kind of, go on my laptop, pop this open, and then I'll change this access code. So I might change it to something like um, uh, yellow might be now be my access code and I'll go in and change it and then it'll immediately change. So if I'm a student trying to get into this and I have my first last name class period and I think the access code is Apple, 
well, when I try to get in my access, I can't get any further. Like as a student, I just can't get beyond this first initial screen without the correct access code. So I usually will change it hour to hour and then that gets me in. And then I change it again at the very end so if students have access to the information, then it's changed at the end of my use. So I like the access code, not necessarily for everyday Google like assignments, but for something that you're just gonna wanna try and like um, secure or assessments that you don't want students to be passing on and using. I mean, your settings toggle up here is very important for that in restricting them to their Google accounts, limiting them to one resource, making sure that the quiz options are all set how you want them. Um, I did a previous video which I turned that off, but typically you would want this right here on as a quiz and save it. But I like this access code. It's a really great way to only prevent students' access when you want them to be into that Google form.